An acorn falls to the ground. A squirrel comes over, carts it off to its nest. Or a deer comes by and eats it. Or something comes along and tramples it and cracks it so that it becomes fertilizer for the ground. 10,000 acorns can fall from a mature oak tree. And out of those 10,000, perhaps 10 actually have the right conditions that allow them to grow into seedlings. And out of those 10, perhaps only one actually pushes its way up and it develops into an oak tree. Now there's a lot of luck involved, falling in the right way, in the right space, where there's sunlight, where there's a proper soil beneath you. But there is also ways that this process can be accentuated. Finding a gardener who has an understanding of the growth of oak trees. Finding a group of oak trees that can nurture and shelter one in a grove. There are all sorts of things that distinguish those acorns, the one out of 10,000, that actually grow into an oak tree. And this is really the human condition. We're all born like acorns. We're all born with this tremendous potential within us, this potential to grow and awaken and become enlightened beings. But so few do because we need the right teacher, the right teaching. We need to find the right path. And here, certain individual characteristics come into play because there are some people who long to find the right garden and the right gardener and the right teachings. They long for conscious influences. Something within them propels them in that direction, which gives them a leg up on other people. And most of humanity, they're not even concerned, they're not even aware, they're not even interested in this. But at their level, doing what they're doing, they also serve a purpose. Now there are many different ways to grow. There are ways that we can accidentally grow. For instance, a customs officer who stands by a doorway and watches passengers disembarking from planes all day long and he sends them right or left, depending on what his subconscious mind picks up, what he sees within them. One way they get sent you know, to the gate and they can leave, and the other way they're actually taken aside and screened. Now he can ignore hunger, he can ignore cold, he can ignore the pain in his back. He can focus so intensely on that group of people coming by that something crystallizes within him. Something real and solid takes shape and form deep within him. But because it was done in the wrong way, because it was done in a lopsided fashion, it doesn't really help him. Because it's very important to learn to grow in a balanced and harmonious way. The Fibonacci sequence is a mathematical formula that governs all growth and ensures that things grow in a balanced and harmonious way. It is the reason that a mountain goat with antlers growing never lose its center of gravity and plunge to its death, even though these antlers grow bigger and bigger. It's the law that governs the growth of branches around a trunk of a tree so that the tree never gets lopsided and falls over. Now the only way we can understand this process, the only way we can learn to grow in the proper way, is to find a proper teaching. And here I'm referring to mystical teachings. Now there are many mystical teachings, and those that have withstood the test of time, the ancient teachings, the teachings that people have used to grow and develop, are a good place to start. So Buddhism, Hinduism, Sufism, esoteric Christianity, these teachings can all provide a basis for growing our being in a balanced and harmonious fashion. So if you have that lodestone in your heart, if you have that desire to connect, to grow, to open to your full potential, 
it's very important that you find a teacher and a teaching and a path and you follow that path. And the more difficult the path, the more arduous the path, the more beneficial it is. If it's an easy path and you get to sit around and just focus on your navel day after day, that will develop certain qualities, but it will not create the necessary struggle, the necessary friction within you in order to grow your being. Healing Mind, Body and Feelings The Toronto Hypnotherapist